A whole food plant-based low-fat diet leads to less diabetes, cancer and heart disease. Today you're going to learn about what a whole food plant-based diet is. After that, you'll get definite proof why humans are plant eaters and not meat eaters. And in the last part, I'm going to talk about the benefits a plant-based diet has on cancer. So let's start by jumping into the first topic of today. A whole food, plant-based diet consists of whole, unrefined, or minimally refined plants. It's a diet based on fruit, vegetables, tubers and starchy vegetables, whole grains and legumes. Forbidden foods include bleached flour, refined sugar, and oil. And it is devoid of meat, including chicken and fish, dairy products, and eggs. Animal products like carbohydrates fiber, many essential vitamins, and minerals, as well as antioxidants. Instead, it consists of cholesterol, saturated fat, animal protein, toxins, and much more. Eating a vegan diet is not healthy if you eat the standard American diet only made with vegetables. Such as eating vegan burgers dripping with oil, potato chips, or refined food. Whole vegan foods lead to a higher amount of good carbohydrates in our diet. There is no more effort required to keep the fats low, apart from eating a limited amount of nuts and seeds. There are three macronutrients that we all need for optimal health, carbohydrates, protein, and fat. The high-carb low-fat diet contains all these macronutrients. We need these nutrients in different amounts. Glucose comes from carbs and is the body's preferred and the brain's only energy source. It should dominate our diet. It's almost impossible not to get enough protein, even when you eat a vegan diet. In the West and world, we have an obsession to protein. Many believe it's the single most important nutrient. And it is also common to think that we need to eat a lot of animal products to be lean, muscular, and healthy. But most of us eat way too much protein. When you eat a whole food plant-based diet, you get the right amount of protein. You do not need to eat animal products to get enough protein. Fats are essential to our health too. Plants consist of the right amount of fats for our needs. When you eat too much fat per day, you impair your health. Fat slows down our blood flow and keeps the sugar from entering the cells by blocking it. That hinders your body from absorbing the nutrients. Fats exhaust the pancreas and cause type 2 diabetes. Heart disease is the number one killer in the Western world. You can prevent heart disease and even reverse it by eating a low-fat vegan diet. Vegetable oils are not real food either. Many of us know that processed sugars are junk foods. But a majority of us believe that certain fats are good for us. Oil is fat and nothing but fat. It contains no nutrients, including protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, fiber, and water. Vegetable oils of any kind have more calories per gram than any other food we know. And without any fiber or water in it, our senses do not know how many calories you have eaten. This can lead you to consume more calories than you need. Why would you waste calories on something that has no nutrients in it other than fat? All oils have a negative impact on blood vessels and promote heart disease. Oils hinder lung function and oxygen exchange and suppress the immune system. And it increases the risk of cancer. Excess calories from fat get stored as fat, no matter what type of fat calories you consume. Remember that, the fat you eat is the fat you wear. The optimal ratio of these three macronutrients should be 80% carbs, 10% protein and 10% fats. So the rule for a healthy life is, eat food mother nature made and not what humans created. So now that you know what a whole food plant based diet is, let me prove why humans are plant eaters. So let's look at the evidence that humans are herbivores. Carnivores have a wide mouth opening in relation to their head size. This gives them advantages in catching, killing and cutting their prey into pieces. We humans can move our mouth side to side, dogs and other carnivores can't do that. Human teeth are different from lions or tigers. Lions have sharper canines needed for ripping apart their prey. Human teeth are much smaller. They are better for chewing the food. There are striking differences between carnivores and herbivores organs. Carnivores stomach is capable of holding a lot of food. The size of the stomach in a carnivore represents 60-70% of the total capacity of the digestive system. These animals kill on average once a week. A large stomach volume is helpful because it allows the animals to eat as much meat as possible at one time. They then can digest the food later while resting. 
Carnivores ability to secrete hydrochloric acid in the stomach is exceptional. They can keep their gastric down to around 1-2 even with food present. This is great for breaking down protein and to kill the bacteria found in decaying flesh. Humans have a stomach acid with a between 4-5 like other herbivores. Our hands are perfect for grabbing and picking fruits and vegetables. We don't have sharp claws to seize and hold down a prey. And most of us lack the instinct that drives us to chase and then kill animals and eat their flesh. When you look at a picture of a bunny, is your first instinct to hug or kill it? You want to hug it. But if carnivores see a bunny they perceive it is food and start to salivate. Our intestines are long. Carnivores have short intestines so they can get rid of all that rotting flesh they eat fast. The large intestine of carnivores is simple and short. Its only purposes are to absorb salt and water. It is about the same diameter as the small intestine and has a limited capacity to function as a reservoir. Humans have no protein or fat receptors on our tongues and that is the reason meat is tasteless. But why does meat taste so good? It's because they use a ton of salt. Try to eat ground up flesh without adding salt or seasoning and it tastes bad. Human beings are not natural carnivores. When we kill animals to eat them, they end up killing us. Animal flesh contains cholesterol and saturated fat, which was never intended for human beings. Our evolution and anatomy are herbivorous. When we eat meat, we get decreased energy and need more sleep. And we also increase the risk for obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. So what benefits does a high-carb low-fat diet have on cancer? What can you expect if you change over to a low-fat, whole food, plant-based lifestyle? You lower your risks of heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and being overweight. Another benefit is more energy and a feeling of health and well-being. Dr. D. Colleen Campbell is an American biochemist. He specializes in the effect of nutrition on long-term health. Back in the 80s, he conducted the China study. He led the first two major studies. Campbell investigated the diets, lifestyle, and disease in China. Data consisted of 6,500 Chinese people in 65 rural counties. T. Colin Campbell wrote a book called The China Study about his findings. The healthiest people in the study ate a more plant-based rich diet. Dr. Grieger is an American physician, author, and speaker on public health issues. He is a vegan and creator of NutritionFacts.org. In a speech he gave, he spoke about the leading causes of death in his talk. Grieger mentioned a study where they put people on different diets. They had some people eat a standard American diet and not exercise. Another group ate meat and trained hard every day. The third group was plant eaters that did not exercise that much. They then drew their blood and dripped it on cancer cells growing in a petri dish. After that, they stood back to see whose blood was better at suppressing cancer growth. Blood from those on the standard American diet slowed the cancer growth rate down about 9%. The blood from the vegans had eight times the stopping power when it comes to cancer cell growth. No question, right? But, literally, 5,000 hours in the gym, no match for a plant-based diet. The same researchers tried to duplicate the study on women. They wanted to know what a vegan diet could do against three types of breast cancer. This time they tried the experiment for two weeks instead of one year. After 12 days they took blood from those same women and dripped it on cancer cells. Their bodies cleaned up and slowed down the breast cancer cells after two weeks of eating a healthy diet. Insulin-like growth factor 1 IGF-1 is a cancer-promoting growth hormone. Vegetables are easier for humans to digest and doesn't raise IGF-1. IGF-1 increases in the body when we consume animal protein. Vegans have much lower circulating IGF-1 than meat eaters. Heterocyclic amines are chemicals formed in meat or animal protein during cooking. It's carcinogenic and increases your risk of cancer. Cooking vegetables don't seem to manifest HCRs. Vegans have less cancer than meat eaters according to Dr. Grieger. They compared vegetarians only to healthy meat eaters with healthier diets. And still, though there was one surprising finding I'll cover later, bottom line, they found the incidence of all cancers combined was lower among vegetarians.
Today you learn that, a whole food plant-based diet consists of whole, unrefined, or minimally refined plants. Forbidden food include processed food like bleached flour, refined sugar, and oil. And it is devoid of meat, including chicken and fish, dairy products, and eggs. Plants contain enough macronutrients like fat, protein, and carbohydrates. Human beings are not natural carnivores. Our organs and body share more similarities to herbivores than carnivores. A whole food low-fat diet lowers the risk of heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and being overweight. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you know understand that, if you eat a whole food plant-based diet, you can lower your risk of getting cancer. If you want to learn how to eat a high-carb low-fat diet, then please go to cancerwisdom.net 12 Day Vegan Cancer Challenge. The 12 Day Vegan Cancer Challenge is an email course. It teaches you how to eat a whole food low-fat diet for cancer. In this challenge, you learn how to eat a plant-based diet for 12 days successfully. As a bonus, you receive a recipe book. Join now for free. On our homepage, you also get access to our free resource library. Download our free guides about diet, detox, emotional healing and more. Please press the like button if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.